many people here in the metro remember John Glazier. He was a firefighter fighting a fire, and he died while searching that home for a family he believed needed help. Hundreds of people turned out for John's funeral. Hundreds more touched by the story of a man, a dad, whose wife had to figure out how to be strong for the couple's two young children. One of those people moved by the story was Ben Schlegel, a local Kansas City man. And we're going to get into why you were moved. First of all, you're a fellow firefighter, Casey Moe, and just the story of the firefighter was enough to make you kind of feel a connection with this with John Glazier. Absolutely, yeah. John was a firefighter in Shawnee, and so yeah. and so you, you, there's just this camaraderie between firefighters. When one is lost, you all feel it. I think so. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's certainly the brotherhood, and sisterhood that yeah, they talk for about. Sure. It's a big family. And one of the things I thought was neat when I was talking to you is that you felt that connection because he was a firefighter and he lost his life, and and you feel that connection, and then you find out that he and you had a different connection. Tell me a little bit about finding that out. Well, uh, it turned out we were about the same age and uh, grew up out in the same part of town and, uh, and even further down the road kind of found out you knew some people, you'd grown up with some of the similar people. And then uh, I'd also heard that he's an active guy, done marathons and had done some triathlons. And, uh, and then, of course, I found out that he had done Ironman triathlons as well, or had done an Ironman triathlon as well, up in uh, Louisville in 2008. So he did the Ironman in Louisville 2008, and mm -hmm. you discovered this, and that it peaked your, you felt even a bigger connection, because you are also an Ironman competitor. Yes, okay. yes. And so then tell me about the whole, because you fought to represent him in Kansas City and this loss by wearing his bib number. John Glazier wore number 590, mm -hmm. and you got to wear that, is it right, in Louisville? Yeah, when I uh, when I'd found out that he'd done... Uh, uh, Louisville 2008, I too, uh, I, I uh, submitted to Ironman to, to, to wear the same bib number he had worn in order to raise uh, awareness and support of John and his family and also, uh, and again, try and, you know, get that support for his kids. It, uh, yeah. We've since established a, a fund trying to, to raise uh, funds for their education. And you leave for Hawaii tomorrow <laughs> to run the Big Iron Man, and you have lobbied to get that 590 again. Yes, uh, I was persistent, probably as persistent as I'll have to be this Saturday out there <laughs> racing. And I uh, finally got a hold of somebody and uh, called in some favors from the big guns that I know. And, and I uh, got a hold of somebody, and they, they, as soon as they found out, Iron Man's a great organization. It's they like a lot of things to. they wanted to. And you're running this Saturday, and I just we're getting really short on time, but I mm -hmm. wanted to drive people to the website because with the story there, and there's a way to track you in your run and, and bike and swim out in mm -hmm. Hawaii when you're running in honor of John Glazer and to raise awareness. Uh, on our website at NBCActionNews.com right now, look under Spotlight. Thanks for coming in. Thank you, Krista. All right, we'll be right back.